Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is the next video in the UiPath AI Center where we are covering the AI Center in a step by step manner. My name is Mukesh Kala. I am a four times UiPath most valuable professional certified solution architect and I am also a certified trainer from UiPath. And recently I have also got the LinkedIn top voice. Feel free to connect me on the LinkedIn and I would be happy to be part of your network. On the top of that, we also have a small WhatsApp community where we have a lot of developers in a single group. So in case you directly want to connect on the WhatsApp, feel free to scan this QR which you see on the screen and you would be part of the WhatsApp community. Whenever there is any new video which is uploaded on the channel, you directly get a notification on your WhatsApp. Also while doing the development, whenever you face any issues, feel free to post it in the WhatsApp group and the other developers will try their best to help you guys as well. Okay, so today in this video, we are going to cover something which is called the UiPath AI Center activating the enterprise trial. Now, why do I say that activating the enterprise trial? Whenever we talk about the UiPath AI Center, in order to gain the full access of the AI Center, you cannot use the community license. You need to be on the enterprise trial or the enterprise version of UiPath. That does not mean that the community users cannot try all these features. So what UiPath does it, it provides you a 60 days trial to try all the features of the UiPath enterprise. All you have to do is just you have to request for the enterprise trial. So in this video, I am going to tell you how you can enable the AI center on your tenant, which is the community and how you can access all the features of the AI center. In case you are coming to the channel for the first time and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel to get the next videos in the AI Center series. Having said that, let's get started. So the first thing first is now I hope you guys already have the cloud account which is the cloud.uipa.com right so you log into your uh, tenant which is cloud.uipa.com and this is where you can check whether the AI center is enabled or not right so for example you simply go on this top which you this six grids at the top right and you have this section here which is the admin sections go to the three dots and click on this guy which is the admin sections when I click on the admin section I can see that here the license plan which is mentioned for me is community plan which means that I do not have access to the AI center now why I am saying that I do not have access to the AI center that also you will get to know in a couple of minutes right so if I go to my tenant which is this one right so as you can see as of now I have this tenant which is the default tenant I click on that right and here you can see that services so if I go to the services which says that manage the services for this tenant which means the tenant you are logged into if I go to that and and here you have something which is called orchestrator actions integration service du and the process launcher right now if i go here and i try to add the services right you would see here i am only getting the test manager data service and the task mining i do not have an option to add the ai center here right so this clearly means that i am in the community plan of uipath right so where do you go you just log into that you go to the admin and then you go to the tenant and then you try to add the service right services and as of now you see i don't have an option to add the ai center even in the add service it's not available so that clearly means that i am in the community plan and that's why we need to enable the enterprise trial right so to en enable the enterprise then you go to the admin right now in the admin you would be in this page okay once you are in this page you would see three options buy now start pro trial and the enterprise activation please remember that you have to click on this button which says start pro trial which is the first button in this one so i click on start pro trial now here the first name and the last name would be already populated for you please remember you cannot use the gmail or any other ids in this you have to use a business email address for 
activation of the enterprise trial so i'm going to put my business email address here which is not a gmail or not an outlook account next it is asking you for the job title i'll put mine which is the rpa manager i will select my location i am located uttarakhand and you can put your organization name and click on this button which says start the pro trial and after that you will see a message which says that it is successful now all you have to do is just go to the top and hit a quick refresh on the page and you would see that now you would be available in the pro trial 60 days at the top simply means that i have 60 days to try the uipath enterprise trial now once you have activated your enterprise trial now you can go ahead to the same place in the tenant and now you can add the services right so basically i am doing on the next tenant on a different one because i have already utilized it for let's say 25 closed dates that's why you see on the top this is 35 days less right so in case you are doing it for the first time this number would be still 60 for you right so now when you come to the tenant i'll go again and show it to you you go to the home right and then you go to these uh, nine dots here click on this button which is the admin and now you can see here you are on the pro trial plan so once you are on the pro trial go to the tenant which you want this service to be right which is the ai center and then now if i go to the services now still i see all this i do not have the ai center now you click on this top right button which is the add services and here now you can see along with the other services now you have this guy which is the ai center enabled for me right now all i have to do is just go here and click on this button ai center and i just can add it to the tenant now you would see that an option which says that updating the tenant some features might be unavailable during the process so you have to wait it will hardly take one or two minutes to get it updated and then once it is updated you can see here now you have this ai center which is enabled which says that now you can deploy manage train all the ml models and you can do a lot of stuff right so that's how you enable the ai center now to simply launch the ai center you click on these three buttons show more actions and click on this button which is the launch and that should now launch the uipath ai center for you which would look something like this right and yeah here we are in our uipath ai center right okay so now i hope you guys were also able to successfully activate the uipath ai center on your community edition and you have now the ai center enabled right so if you have any more questions any more doubts feel free to write me in the comments or you can also drop me an email as well with that i would like to wrap this video here thank you for watching if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and happy automation